the years of of you uh, being or, or acting as a DPO for so many organizations, in your view, uh, and based on what you've seen so far uh, with the uh, with the new Digital Personal Data Protection Act, Aba, uh, what do you think are the main challenges uh, that are experienced towards implementation? Well, uh, thank you for uh, that very interesting question. You know, because. Uh, um, the whole concept of a DPO came up with GDPR, and that is when you know when that uh, when there was this phase where we were trying to identify how should the management around privacy regulation be because this is not something which is universally applicable and it is the same. While the principles obviously remain the same, but then there are a lot of nuances to it, and it needs to be addressed both say at a centralized level because then you know how the whole or particularly for multinational organizations how they function, and then you also need somebody who's seated at, as the privacy champion in respect subsidiary so uh, I was very fortunate and uh, I consider myself very privileged to that uh, back in time 2018 onwards I was involved in the space um, I would split this question in two bits and when we talk about the challenges that DPOs face one on the people front and two on the regulatory front people front because this law is fairly new there's a whole concept around mindset shift which is happening, which has started happening with a lot of those who implemented GDPR or who were involved in implementing uh, the privacy directive, uh, European Union's privacy directive. They have been aware of it, right? But a lot of countries and countries particularly such as ours, where we have been there in the business for like ages now, uh, data collection is the prime thing that we do because we know that one day we are going to use it for sure. And there's nothing like, do we have enough data? We, our laws don't come up with a retention timeline. So technically, there was nothing that ever stopped us from collecting data. On the contrary, the more data we have, the more comfortable we feel because we know that one fine day we are going to come go back and look at them and make, you know, put them to a certain use. But the mm -hmm. fact remains that with this amount of data that we are sitting in in-house, there has been a sharp rise in cyber attacks. Now, one portion you need, you lose, end up losing non-personal data, which we are keeping out of the discussion for today. With personal data, we are seeing that there is lots of kinds of harms. Forget the regulation. Let lot of harms that can arise to data subjects, data principles whose data is collected and stored and processed by us. Now, who processes it? People process it. So how do you bring that fundamental shift? We have this concept of DPO. So is the DPO, is the privacy office alone responsible for managing the privacy of the whole of the organization? No, because right from the operational level to the level of CEOs and CXOs, we are processing personal data in one form or, or, or the other. Even if you do not have, say, consumer's data, you still have your employee's data. And that amounts to personal data. Your appraisals are written. That is personal data. You have some vendor who's working. There's some consultant who's coming. There's an auditor who's coming. There's a government official who's coming. Or we process that personal data. So everybody is handling personal data. So I believe one of the fundamental challenges that we have, and I think uh, more than challenges, one of the fundamental opportunities that we have as DPOs is how do you revolutionize and cause this mindset shift with every person who's there, who's associated with your organization, where you end up processing this data. So that is one fundamental part of it, where I believe it does not get limited to uh, certain trainings that are imparted or certain classroom in-house otherwise. No, it is a long run process. It's an everyday process and it's all about bringing in that mindset. Mm -hmm.